The farm belongs to Colin Pierce, a sheep farmer who believes passionately in preserving the traditions of the moor. These are the sheep, one of England's oldest breeds of sheep. Right. Colin farms the white-faced Dartmoor, the native breed of sheep whose long wool fleeces once played a vital role in the economy of the moor. Well, this country, it's easy to forget that we built a nation on the wealth generated from the wool we trade. Did. We did. Churches and bridges, wonderful names come up like Bridge on Wool, and it was the profits of wool, the culture, the economy, the prosperity, and the wool, of course, paid the rent. Right. for these little farms. This was a wonderful day when you came to shear because you waited 12 months for this fleece to mature. Well, we look forward to helping out. Let's see if we can't throw a bit of fun into the bargain. By fun, do you mean competition? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I've surprisingly weak forearms, despite what people say, so um, <laughs> I wouldn't mind being paired with the uh, <laughs> slightly better shearer. To teach Alex and Peter the craft of hand shearing, Colin has called in champion Devon blade shearer George Mudge and his son Andrew. I think that it tends to run in families. I mean, my father was a good shearer and all these brothers. Yeah. And of course now Andrew's good at it as well. Here we go then, there she is. Travelling from farm to farm, an Edwardian blade shearer would have hoped to remove a fleece in less than five minutes. We must be very careful, right. you know, not to cut them. You've got to really know the contours of a sheep's body then. Absolutely. You know, you've got a, a pair of blades here which are six inches long. Take your finger uh, off. Yeah. Yeah, you could take your finger off quite easily. And she's all right with this? She's not too traumatised by no, it? No, not at all. And, I mean, generally speaking, of course, when the weather's hot, they're really glad to get it off. Right. So the way you're shearing here is is essentially so that the fleece all comes off in one piece. It's a bit like when you're shaving, you know, you have to keep the old skin tight. That's right, you have to sort of draw your face, don't That's you? That's it. To get the, <laughs> the razor over it. Yeah, and the other thing that you should do when you're shearing, you should avoid, as near as possible, yeah. skin cuts and second cuts of the wool. Are hand shears still in use much around the world? In countries like South Africa, Still about 65% of the sheep are shorn with the blade, the best blade shearers in the world. Mm -hmm. And they, like shearers everywhere, get paid on a headage basis. So the more they shear, the more they earn. Mm. And, um, you know, wherever people are shearing in the world, nobody wants to be the slowest. That's it. There she goes. She goes, a different animal, actually, but... It looks half the size, isn't it? unrecognisable. <laughs> yeah. So that whole process took us, what, five minutes? Probably something like that, I suppose, yeah. Right, so how many do you think you could do in a day? Well, a good shearer with the hand shearers would do probably about 50 of these, I suppose. Right. I, think, I think 50 would be quite enough. I think, I think five would be <laughs> <right>. <laughs> It's like a barber shop, isn't it? <laughs> They're all lining up. <laughs> 